So Coach Levy had a great question. He said, what do you do for the disrespectful kids? And I think he was trying to say for the ones who don't want to do anything. Be sure to save and bookmark this video if you don't have time to watch it right now. I'm going to show you exactly how I discipline my players. So let me start here. I started playing football in the 90s. Them coaches in the 90s wasn't playing any games, and we knew not to cross them. It was always yes, sir, no, sir. And if you got out of line, it would be a bad day for you. Now you can't do that as much. It's a little different. So I got three things that I do. First thing I'll do is your traditional belly drop. Usually if a kid get unfocused, this helps to get them back focused. Now let me go to my big two. Second thing I'll do if the kid get disrespectful is I'll have the team hold him accountable. So this is what I'll say. All right, guys, so since little Johnny don't want to do the drills and don't want to listen to coach, we all doing belly drops today. Or we're all doing 50 squats today. The effect that this have on the team is amazing. Because now that disrespectful kid has 25 teammates who are mad at him single-handedly. And this usually gets little Johnny back in line ASAP. Because the last thing you want to be is that player that has everybody else being punished because of your behavior. And the last thing I do, and this has been the most effective for me with my senior team, I will totally suspend the kid from practice activities. He won't participate in any of our drills, any of our play implementations, because as you know, misery loves company and negativity is contagious. But what this also do is straighten the kid up because I have a rule that if you don't practice, you don't play in the games. So he knows if he doesn't practice, He's not going to get no playing time in the game because he's going to be suspended for the first quarter or the first half of the entire game. Depends on how bad his behavior is. So at the end of the day, I keep my practices fun and interactive, but I'm highly organized and I'm a disciplinarian coach. I don't tolerate no disrespect. And I would advise you as a coach to be very organized and be very disciplined and be very clear with your players on your expectations. I hope this helps. Be sure to follow me for more football tips like this. You're welcome.